How much operating time can you get with eight AA batteries and a Yaesu FT817? In this video, we'll find out. These are some ladder AA nickel metal hydride batteries. They came from IKEA. A thing that's said to be distinctive about them is their low rate of self-discharge. That may make them useful for some portable applications where you may be storing the batteries for some time between uses. I was put onto this in a video from Jared VK3BL. He mentioned that these batteries were similar, if not the same, as the Eneloop type, which sell for much higher prices. The batteries cost $9.99 for a pack of four. Two packs can power a Yaesu FT817. As you can see, the claimed capacity is 2450 milliamp hours. That's a lot better than the battery pack that comes with the FT817 or even the newer FT818. I'll go portable with the FT817 and see how long a set of these batteries will last on the air. My first thought was using the supplied battery holder to fit these double A's into the FT817. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't get it in and I didn't want to force anything. Just comparing it with an Energizer AA, the latter is about one millimeter fatter. So I went to an external battery holder. It's 10 past two on a sunny afternoon and I'll be operating portable, a mix of SSB and Whisper. One thing I should mention is because of the 9.6 volts, you can't get five watts output from the FT817 with them. With the batteries first connected up on receive, it's 10.3 volts. Discrepancy between what I'm hearing and what you're hearing. You're, you're hearing so much more. After nearly an hour, 9.6 volts on receive. CQ, CQ, CQ. VK3FIRE Mobile, VK3YE Portable. CQ, CQ, CQ.